It is finally football season. The Friday night lights have been turned on once again. And Jack, I'm not talking about these ones here in the studio. I'm talking about those ones out there. Friday Night Live is here to bring you all the action. Welcome to this brand new showcase of high school football here on Valley News Live. I'm Devin Fry. That's Jack Wallace. Now, we're no strangers to gridiron action here in the area. One team was getting their first taste of it. After years of trying to get their, pro, their new varsity team off the ground, the Horace Hawks got to compete for the first time today. The Hawks making the short trip north where the Fargo North Spartans look to follow up their playoff campaign from last season. The Spartans looking to welcome their newest conference rivals to the EDC, and it doesn't take them very long to do it. Just three plays into their opening drive, Ethan Welk rolls out on the play fake and bombs it to the end zone. Carson Hannestad makes the catch in the right corner to put Fargo North on the board. They're up 7-0, and they're looking to add to that after a Horace 3 and out. Welk drops back again and hurls it deep down the sideline. Watch this one, Jack. Jeremiah Ooh. Sem pops it up and then pulls oh it back Lord. down. Now, the refs say he stretched the ball across the goal line there for six. The circus catch by Sem puts the Spartans up by 14. Spartans marching the ball downfield one more time in the opening quarter. Peter Haugo takes the handoff right up the gut and walks on in. The Spartans dominating the opening quarter and they stay dominant the rest of the way. 56 to 7, the final from Far North Fargo. The Spartans opening the year with a win. Now we're going to take a trip even further north where both Grand Forks high school teams opened up their seasons tonight. And up first, we have the Grand Forks Central Knights hosting Watford City. Now Watford opening things up with a squib kick here, but Jack Simmers finds a seam right up the middle, picks up blockers, and crosses midfield. Bye. No one has touched him. See ya. Junior going to take this one 75 yards to the house on the opening <laughs> kickoff. What a start for the Knights here. Perfect start. Exactly. <laughs> Offense finally getting to a little bit to see in the field in the first, but Dylan Lamont throws a bubble screen. Trey Cunts picking up some yardage and absolutely obliterates Ugh, the Watford defender, rumbling for more yards there. I mean, ridiculous. <laughs> Truck stick move for the chains. Grand Forks Central, they move ahead. They settle for a field goal. That drive go up 11-0. Later in the second, Jaden Hawk takes the inside handoff, finds a hole, and drives through the defender for a touchdown to tack on another score for the Knights. Grand Forks Central of a 19 zip at halftime. And the Knights open the season with a shutout 33-0, the final from Grand Forks. And Jack, as soon as the Knights left Cushman Field, the Rough Riders stepped up for their season opener with Williston. The Coyotes starting off fast in this one. Caden Finder's gonna roll outside the pocket, spots a man downfield, almost knocks over Aaron Walling with the camera there, and finds Logan Knox in the corner of the end zone for six. <laughs> the Rough Riders looking to respond now. Set up in the red zone, Brett Feller takes the handoff, muscles his way through. He's held up, but he does stretch his arm out to put Red River on the board. Moving into the second quarter now, Red River in the red zone again, the Red River zone. Feller mm. takes the ball up the middle, jumps through the pile for his second tutty of the game. Rough Riders leading 14 to seven heading into halftime. And Jack, we have ourselves a Grand Forks sweep tonight. Red River opening up the season with a 43 to 14 win over Williston. A good day to be up north. Lots of